सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर लास्ट सेक्शन वी हैव सीन द स्पेशलिटीज ऑफ एम्बेडेड सिस्टम नाउ इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल सी द डिज़ाइन चैलेंजेस दैट इज ऑप्टिमाइजिंग डिज़ाइन मेट्रिक्स ऑफ द एम्बेडेड सिस्टम सो कंस्ट्रक्ट एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन दैट फुलफिल्स डिजायर्ड फंक्शनैलिटी बट डिफिकल्ट चैलेंज इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो वेन एवर वी आर बिल्डिंग एनी पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम सो वी हैव टू डू वॉट वी हैव टू फुलफिल द एक्सपेक्टेशन इन सच अ वे दैट द फंक्शनैलिटी शुड बी एज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट शुड बी डन एंड दैट शुड बी हैव द वेरी गुड परफॉर्मेंस दैट इट शुड बी हैव द वेरी नाइस फंक्शनैलिटी बट डिफिकल्ट चैलेंज इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो वी एक्सपेक्ट द परफेक्ट फंक्शनैलिटी बट फॉर दैट वॉट इज द डिफिकल्ट चैलेंज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द परफेक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो दैट इज द चैलेंज सो एन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोसेसर विथ एन अकम्पनिंग प्रोग्राम एंड कनेक्शन ऑफ डिजिटल गेट्स सो वेन एवर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन देन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोसेसर एज वेल एज द प्रोग्राम एंड कनेक्शन ऑफ डिजिटल गेट्स दैट इज नथिंग बट द सर्किट डायग्राम विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल for all the connections of the hardware so the common relevant metrics includes unit cost nre cost size performance power flexibility time to market time to prototype correctness and safety so unit cost is what unit cost is the monetary cost of manufacturing each copy of the system excluding the nre cost so now we know that our system is built from various modules so the monetary cost of manufacturing each copy of the system is called as the unit cost means how many copies we are making of our system that cost of each copy is nothing but the unit cost and it does not include the nre cost Now, what is NRE cost? So, NRE cost is non-recurring engineering cost. So, what is it? So, the NRE cost is the monetary cost of designing the system. Once the system is designed, any number of units can be manufactured without incurring any additional design cost. So, it is called as the non-recurring. Whenever we have built any particular system. so after building and designing that system when we are creating or manufacturing number of units of that particular system then after first system building we did not require any additional design cost when we are making number of units of that system so that's why it is called as non recurring engineering cost because it is the monetary cost of designing the system after <coughs> system designing the number of units can be manufactured without a design cost that's why it is called as the nre cost now the next is size size is what the physical space required by the system often the size if we are talking about the software then it is measured in bytes and if we are talking about hardware then the gates transistors whatever circuit elements we are using in hardware that are considered so the physical space required by the system is called as the size it is different for software and different for hardware next is performance so it is the execution time or throughput of the system now it is mandatory and expectable that our system should run in minimum amount of time and its throughput should be also good so performance is nothing but the execution time which should be minimum and throughput of the system the next is power so the amount of power consumed by the system which determines the lifetime of a battery or the cooling requirements of the ic because power means more heat so power means what the amount of power consumed by the system because it determines the lifetime of the battery as we are using ic then the cooling requirements of ic because power means what power means more heat so it is uh, desirable to have the less power consumption next is flexibility 
the ability to change the functionality of the system without incurring heavy NRE cost. So flexibility means what? It is nothing but the ability. So what is the ability? It is if we want to change the functionality of the system then we should be able to change the functionality of the system without causing any heavy NRE cost is called as flexibility means we are doing the changes also and we are not affecting the NRE cost also so that is called as flexibility and in software and hardware software is more flexible than hardware because making changes in software is more easy than the hardware next is time to market so the amount of time required to design and manufacture the system to the point of system can be sold to customers is called as time of mar time to market so the amount of time means whatever timeline is required from designing till manufacturing and after manufacturing when we are selling it to the customers all this timeline is nothing but the time to market next is time to prototype the amount of time to build a working version of the system which may be bigger or more expensive than the final system implementation but can be used to verify the system's usefulness and correctness and to refine the system's functionality. So time to prototype is nothing but the amount of time or timeline which is required to build the working version of the system means whatever final system of our is there so the final amount of time required to prepare the working version of system along with its usefulness and performance is called as time to prototype. Next is correctness. So correctness is nothing but the confidence that we have implemented the system's functionality correctly. We can check the functionality throughout the process of designing the system and we can insert test circuitry to check the manufacturing was correct. So correctness is nothing but our confidence that whatever system we have designed is running or doing the perfect output is called as correctness. And this functionality can be checked by the test circuitry to check that whatever we have built or manufactured is correct. Next very important part is safety. So whenever we are designing any system to generate any particular output safety is the probability that the system will not cause any harm means we are using any system for the any particular output or for any particular job then it is necessary that the system should not cause any harm that is called as safety so these are nothing but the various designing challenges that are generally occurred when we are designing the embedded system. Thank you.